Hi Matt here and welcome to M2M and welcome to this episode of In The News. Well, since last night, it seems that there's an, a leak coming from the ISS. Well, not from the ISS itself. It appears to be coming from one of the docked spacecraft, namely the Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft that is docked, currently docked to the ISS. I haven't actually determined exactly what the chemical is leaking, but it is a coolant of some description. Now, there is a question over the future of this docked spacecraft. Is it going to be used again? And will, will they be able to stop the leak? And if so, how are they going to stop it? So I suppose in time, we're going to find out. The leak is venting out into space, as you're going to see. So the astronauts inside are not in any immediate danger. However, if they're going to fix the leak, it, they're depending on the chemical that you're using, the astronauts outside the spacecraft, if that's the way they could do it, try to fix it, uh, could be contaminated. If you remember back in 2013, there was a coolant leak what, during an EVA, which uh, American astronauts, NASA astronauts then fixed. So their spacesuits then got contaminated with the frozen ammonia. So they had to then brush it off. Again, there, there was no problems there. There's no immediate danger. So that was all fixed. So I don't know. Let's see what's going to happen. So anyway, I'll leave you with this NASA report and a little bit more information about what's going on. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, you're continuing uh, to watch uh, live video from the Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft that began uh, leaking uh, from a coolant loop, it is believed, about three hours ago at the time at which Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin were in the process of preparing for a spacewalk this evening that ultimately was canceled. It uh, is believed that this leak is coming uh, from the area of the instrumentation and propulsion module at the aft end of the Soyuz. The exact location of this leak not yet specifically pinpointed. And discussions are ongoing uh, as to uh, what the future course of action might be with this vehicle. And what approach uh, the Russian specialists will take in uh, analyzing the data and making a uh, determination in concert uh, with International Space Station management as to what uh, may be the end result of this leak that you're seeing that again began about three hours ago, about 6.45 p.m. Central Time, uh, as uh, Prokopiev and Patelin were inside the airlock of the Poisk module of the International Space Station preparing for a spacewalk that eventually was canceled. They are back inside uh, the station. Uh, the Expedition 68 crew is in great shape, at no time in any danger, while uh, further discussions are ongoing uh, with specialists and engineers as uh, to the next course of action. So there it is. So the leak seems to be coming from the instrumentation propulsion module on the Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft, which really is just the equivalent of the service module like Orion and Apollo. So what are they going to do to fix it? What's going to happen to the spacecraft? I suppose, like I said, time will tell. So until then, take care.